So I graduated high school today. Weirdly, I'm not excited. Not because I'm sad, I just like, I'm already over it type thing. But you know what, I have to get it done. I had the option not to, but I knew for my family's sake they wanted to see me up on stage. So, ceremonies tonight, we had the practice 10 a.m. today, it's two. Have to be there at 6.15, so I feel like I should be good and start getting ready now, so. First, we gotta stop and get coffee, of course. I feel so incredibly dead. I could make it at home, but I have a lot of gift cards for my grad party. So I felt like that would be the better way. My mom is being nice and ironing my dress for me. And then I am going to straighten my hair. I have to shave. And my allergies are kicking in so great my eyes are incredibly red um my eyes during the whole practice were just tearing up it looked like i was crying they're probably like oh my god that girl's so sad pathetic her life's gonna end after high school but i could really couldn't care less so i'm i've been out of high school since december so like i've not like thought of myself as a high schooler anymore i guess so like this whole ceremony thing i was just like dreading like so I'm just like waiting for it to be over. But I know I should experience high school. I didn't do any of the senior activities, which don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, but I do regret my high school experience. I definitely did not do any of the activities. I went to homecoming once, which actually that was hell, so. But I didn't do the lock-in, which was last two nights ago. It was at uh, like a fair or a, yeah, fair near us. And then, um, I didn't do senior sunrise, senior sunset, none of the football games, no prom, junior or senior year. So it's definitely a sad high school experience. However, I don't know. I feel like some of that, I'm not crying guys, I swear. Um, some of that was just me going through a lot of shit not a lot but like going through mentally and then the other yeah I think just a lot of it was my anxiety which really sucks um so I'm definitely looking forward to college to actually being at all the events I will be forcing myself I'm not gonna hide in a little bubble in my room like I did and yeah I feel like my priorities these past few years were just work and that's it so, I guess cheers to that. It's a weird high school experience, but I was able to go to Europe, which I am forever grateful for. Grateful for. I would never change that ever in my entire life. And it's just, you know what? That's what my life plan was for me. So, not to get all sentimental, but so this is my one high school experience that I cannot ever miss out on because I know not that I would regret it but I also like I can do it you know it's not gonna be a horrible experience who knows it might be fun it's just hard going back to the school because I don't have a lot of friends there honestly I do like but we're not close you know not like other friendships so when I'm going there like they all have their own different friend groups so it's like hard for me but you know it's okay it's okay to be your own person so can I help you can I get a grande hot caramel macchiato with almond milk and that's it all right six seven. thank you also one of the perks at my job is there's a Starbucks in it and um you know if you're just like doing good whatever your managers can get you free Starbucks and I was I was going in the line I was planning on paying and then my manager she was helping in Starbucks for the rush and she was just like oh no like girl I got you like gave me a free drink and I was like bless thank you like that I'm telling you guys oh this straw just oh my god that just burned me oh it tastes so good like I look sick and I I don't feel sick I kind of do just the sniffles okay also where I live I swear there's been so many more cops 
like just as I'm driving like I swear I never used to see this much like even on like the streets like right from my neighborhood people are getting pulled over and I'm like just let us live did you get oh my god I never told you guys I totally got pulled over with my dad in the car it was so bad and I didn't have my ID I did not have my license with me I was driving without a license and because I was speeding I was going what like eight over oh I'm so sorry sorry to danger you um pulls me over and then I'm like shit like do I say that I do know I was speeding or I don't so so I was like no like I didn't know I'm so sorry whatever and then he's like do you have your ID and I was like no and then my dad's like uh I have mine if that helps he's like no like you are driving so uh, he had to like take down my name luckily he was extremely nice way nicer than the one I had the first time I got pulled over so I wasn't crying at all um I was in my pjs I, I had just woken up I just had to go pick my dad up from dropping off his car and so I looked like a fucking mess and then yeah didn't get a ticket though bless so second warning different guy though but I did just drive by the guy that pulled me over the first time that made me cry and i hate him actually no he didn't give me a ticket so thank you i was just crying because it's my first time being pulled over and the second time since i didn't cry i was like dang i really was dramatic okay so it's three now so i want to start getting ready i was just um reading and having my coffee which i finished my book and so all of these i've read i think i'm gonna switch to kindle or like a nook just because it's easier traveling and just because I go through books so fast, it's just going to be cheaper and just better for the environment. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, but I love like holding the book. So I don't know. I don't like how it's on the screen, but I'm going to shave and then probably start doing the rest of the get ready. <laughs> Okay, so now my hair is all straightened. I'm really proud of myself. I usually don't straighten my hair alone. I usually make someone do it. I'm learning, guys, because you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do my makeup. When's the time that you've had me, heard me do makeup and it hasn't just been like mascara, curling my eyelashes, or those stupid tutorials where I do shitty? So... Okay, makeup is done. I'm not loving it. I feel like my eyes just look so bad. Um, I just, it's like a skin tint. So it's not even like, like it just looks natural. It's not even um, like a concealer. It's a, yeah, a serum tint from Revlon. Um, and I use the e.l.f. primer. And then for mascara, I use the Better Than Sex. And then um, 24 Brow Setter by Benefit. And then I'll probably just bring this. This is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. But the thing, so I have this beauty blender, but it's leaving like black spots all over my face. So I'm like, okay, now I'll get changed though. Okay, I have my dress on. I have boob tape on. I don't know if I did it right. So it's hoping for the best. I feel like it looks lumpy, but everyone has short dresses. I feel like I'm going to be the only one with the long dress, but I couldn't find a short one that I liked. And I really like the long one. This is my full look. I think it's good. I can find maybe some... I don't know if I should put on jewelry or not. I am going to be like Alyssa Violet the whole night. Just pulling this up. But the cat looks so ugly though. That's part of it. Okay, my ears though. Like I don't know this part. Like because I don't want it all behind do I? No. Let's figure out the jewelry. I'll probably put on some dangly earrings. Let's see here. But my nails match my gown. Oh my god, they're like the perfect color. But my nails are chipping because they're from my grad party. Yeah, I feel like definitely just two. I feel like three would be too much. Perfect. Jewelry is all done. Um, the only thing I might put on this little bracelet. Just one. Um, I don't know about rings. This is like my only nice ring I have. 